We are out here at our latest project, the South 72nd and D Street Maryland Green Space Project. We are planting 1,052 understory plants. Um, we're gearing up. Uh, this is uh, also part of our project, uh, anticipating for in pitch to ditch poverty. The site had been a dumping ground for about three years and it was just really underutilized and not a very pleasant place to walk back and forth since the grocery store is right behind us. So last year in March, 64 volunteers and about 40 more neighbors came out and planted 32 trees that were donated by Tacoma Tree Foundation and the Grit City Tree Program. So this is going from an unused gravel pit into a planted uh, tree space with understory plantings and this is the newest South End urban forest. The Blessing Movement was established August 28, 2019. The students were telling me that their grandparents needed help and they were getting older. And I thought it would be so great if we could reach people and help them by doing yard work. And she was talking about just helping people in our neighborhood. And, I, you know, that's great, our next door neighbor, but she just didn't stop. Every day, every night, she's out there helping people. So the Blessing Movement focuses on helping the seniors, elderly, persons who are veterans to maintain their yards and their homes. And how we do that is we get uh, volunteers from our local high schools to come and do yard work at the seniors' homes. Today I believe in intergenerational relationships. I believe that by connecting youth with senior citizens, we're able to go from poverty to possibilities. In 2010, I started working at Carol Milgard Breast Center. At that time, we realized we didn't really have epidemiology that supported where should our best efforts be. And so we commissioned through the board of directors an epidemiology study in 2011, which showed that African-American women in Pierce County bear the highest burden of breast cancer. We began to create discussion groups throughout Pierce County. We made a report back to the board of directors at the Milgard Center, and a bunch of women raised their hand and said, we want to keep working on this issue, and we want to keep working on addressing health disparities in Pierce County. That was the genesis of Leaders in Women's Health. Early on, we also realized that uh, financial constraints were a real problem for many women. So we began to work on this idea of financial consulting where women could come in, they wouldn't have to worry about the cost of the mammogram. And I am a nurse working with the Leaders in Women's Health as their navigator for the Sister Friends program. I did participate in the survey and the data gathering. Seeing breast cancer occurrence in family, friends, and patients I decided that was my passion. I would like to do what I could do to help prevent that. 